Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timberborn Z. Well, things are looking mighty spicy. Uh, maybe not spicy. Mighty dry? Well, not so dry. Things are looking good on that front. We've got water. We've got water. We've got water. We've got bad water. We've got all the things. Things are looking fantastic. We've broken in to the uh, the underside of, or shall we say, the. Well, can I say that? We've broken into the. Well, uh, we we broke open the world. Okay, we, we're having bad water pour out everywhere. It's great. It's beautiful. That's gonna be an ultimate source of power. That's gonna be glorious. You can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. Nobody can complain about that. So that's great. That's fantastic. I love it. That's uh, that's great. So we'll never have a problem with uh, bad water ever again, which means we should never have a problem with extract ever again, which is fantastic because we've we've been hurting for it. But that's fine now. We're good. So everything's going great. I'm loving it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hey, I'm back. Um, so uh, we got we got some comments. I love the comments. Keep them coming, guys. Please and thank you. That's glorious. I love it. Uh, concerning what we could do is with saving some water. Thanks so much for the comments, guys. It's it's brilliant. It's glorious. It's always appreciated. Keep them coming. About uh, expanding some of our reservoir over here. You know, break this open. Save the water over here. Have some more area. This will be all irrigated nice and cleanly and everything. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. And I was thinking, you know, that'd be awesome. But that's going to require us getting in here and raising this side, raising this up to level a third level a little bit, which shouldn't be too painful, you know. Uh, but I was thinking, well, if we're going to be talking about saving water, why don't we save water in our reservoir over here? And I was thinking, well, we're already peeking out this reservoir over here. And, uh, well, why don't we uh, expand the reservoir a little bit? So I was looking, like, what do we have going on? We have this. This is a huge pool that we could create. And I'm thinking that would be pretty cool. Let's go over here and block this all off with some dirt and just fill this entire area in with water. And then I was thinking, I know, I'm like super dangerous right now. Super, super dangerous. We're thinking like four levels deep. Why don't we put in some mechanical fluid pumps and pump the water out of here into a little pool here and then into a pool here and then over here into another pool and then up here to a pool and up here and then all the way up here and then we'll have the greatest mangrove forest ever and then we'll have just little pools of water all the way down into here and all of this will be irrigated forever okay we'll be able to put so much food so many logs or so many trees we could get forest trees running forever and then put some little little rivers back into the main reservoir and just let it keep feeding in here over and over and over again you know we could have the greatest cleanest beautifulest thing in the world going here and it's just gonna take a lot of power and a lot of water and a lot of things going but hey we have the iron teeth and they work hard darn it and you know what we're gonna work hard with them it's gonna be glorious so i think that's what we're gonna do that might take some time but it also takes some things that we don't have and that's dirt dirt okay i know it's everywhere but we don't have any of it to eat well we don't want to eat the dirt but we want to pull it out of the ground so we can use it so we can change the world we can mold it into our beavery image well, maybe not that, but we could definitely mold the world to our liking. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to break in to the dirt excavator today. We're also going to tear into some more of this, get some of this set up, probably get some more power wheels in here and feed that up into here so we can have even more power wheels. Maybe turn these on and let them finish that. But the dirt excavator is going to eat into our metal production, our, our extract production. And, uh, well, that's going to take up some more beavers which means we get, we're back to the old problem that we've been having this entire time we need more beavers but i think we could safely do that now i'm not too afraid of expanding our um expanding our population now because we have the water we have the food 
it's in the 4,000 ranges now for both of them. So I'm pretty excited. And maybe on the side we'll come in here, we'll blast all this down so we can store up even more water in here for our mangroves that we already have right here. But that's for us to work on slowly but surely. But I've been yapping long enough. Let's hit the play button. Let's, think, let's get things moving in the right direction. And uh, we can take a look at this glorious, glorious colony we have running in the background. Look at the beavers go, man. They're just, they're living their best life. They're, they, they want for nothing. Well, they do want for some things, but those things are expensive right now, at least as far as the materials to produce them are concerned. So we're just going to have to hold on doing that for now. But that being said, I think uh, I think we have something to do, something a little a little bit of something for a way forward for these guys. And I'm very excited about that. So first off, we need to give them a way to get down here and start planting or placing some more of these power um some of these power wheels so we'll let we'll get into that i don't know how i'm really going to finagle this corner here maybe just forego this corner entirely other than blocking this off which we want to do because i'm tired of all this getting you know pooped um and that should help maneuver the bad water down this way into a proper channel a little bit easier for us which would be good and then probably want to block this area off too because I want the water to go this way as opposed to backfilling all the way back into here and then finally moving this way. That'll be a problem for us uh, when it comes bad tide season, but it'll just overfill or overcap and then just fill in that way. And it might fill in this area, but we don't have anything going on down in there right now, so I'm not too concerned about that. And then when it overflows the... Uh, the barriers here or the the levees here that should that should be a problem and we'll just get more power because it's just more water going through it that'll be great and on the water note actually i wanted to get over here and do something with this so put in some uh floodgates like right here and then blast this out and have fl floodgates on this side and let the water come over here and we can build our own little channel right here to fill in this side and our channel down here is going to come out this way we'll have paths over it so this path will be basically all um all dynamited out and we'll throw down some, some platforms and everything so that they can continue walking along them as needed so that they can get to the water and so they can keep doing you know farming stuff but that's how we're going to get let the we're going to let the water out this way so I think that's going to be what we're going to do today. But uh, we've been we've been in that mode for a little bit too long. And these guys have been sat on their bums doing nothing for a little bit too long for my liking, you know. And we have nine beavers not doing nothing. You know, we don't like that. Oh, yeah. I need to reconnect these. <laughs> I never actually connected these guys. So let's do that. And I wanted to actually get over here and uh, probably turn this into a separate, into a separate district. So that, uh, you know, these guys don't have to keep running all the way back over here or so on and so forth. And it, that'll take some additional beavers because we'll have to have beavers on this side of the district. And then on this side of the district, going to have to have more haulers. And we, we know the problem that we have with logistics when it comes to this game. It kicks my butt. Okay. It actually absolutely kicks my butt, which I'm not happy to admit, but, you know, it's fine. Um... That being said, logistics-wise, there's a lot of mangroves over here that ain't going nowhere. So, let's get this built. We're going to have this set to supply, and we're going to turn this into mangrove fruits. Let that keep running in the background. They should be able to build that relatively quickly. However, comma, they're continuing to work on this so that that can force all of this water out that way. They are putting all of this dynamite in, so when this reaches peak capacity for what we have going over here, we can let that flow out without any issue. Um, maybe in the future we'll have that fed into this so that we can feed all of these back into here and we'll have to block this off again in the end, but that's fine. Or once we have the levees in and just fed into this, we won't have to worry about that. And then we can get it to here with no issue. Oh! I've been talking at uh, breakneck speed for the past, uh, let's see, uh, nine minutes. I need to breathe. Okay, so let's get, let's get, uh, you know, doing some crazy stuff. So I wanted to do dirt excavation over here. 
I think that'd be the best idea. Um, that's going to require a lot of gears, a lot of metal blocks, and a lot of sparkly planks. We have the sparkly planks, we have the gears, we just don't have the metal blocks. Those are being slowly produced in the background, so that's good. And it's also going to require extract. So we need extract in order to extract dirt. Ah, you see what they did there? They're playing with words. I see how it is, guys. You just play with all my funny bone words here. But I love it. So I'll let you guys continue doing the wonderful things that you're doing. That being said, we also need power in order to run the excavator. So, thinking path down here. And we can put the dirt excavator right here. Put some, or even right here. Dirt excavator right here. Let that just drill into this pocket right here. And then we can put a bunch of dirt storage right here. And then when we start working on this over here, it's not that far of a haul for them to carry the dirt from here over to our dirt storages. We're going to set up here and here for them to continue to do all this. So I'm, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. But, and there's a lot of, a lot of that going around right now. So uh, we need to actually fix our lack of beaver problem. Because uh, we're lacking in the beaver. Jesus, I can speak the English language. We're we're lacking in the population. Okay, we need we need beavers. So we're going to give this priority bump so they can finish that real quick. They should have this nearly done. Yeah, they just need to throw in one more plank. Give it a nice little slap, and uh, that'll get put in. Now, I believe I already have you guys prioritized by haulers. Begs the question, why do we still only have six mangrove fruit? Look at all these mangroves over here. Ain't going nowhere. Fallen XW, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Uh, hopefully that we can get that rectified. We'll get that prioritized by haulers. We'll have, have that set to supply so maybe they can pull from here and push to the appropriate storage spaces for all that. Um, let's see. We have, we have the explosive manufacturing running gun, so that's good. Let's get you prioritized by hauler so you can get some bad water a bit easier. Maybe? Hopefully? I'm Ron Burgundy? No, you're Ron Burgundy. Um, actually, let's do something to help them out with this. So we'll blow that down, throw in some stairs right there so we can have easier access to all the bad water right here. And that should be set to a pain. And that should make things a little bit easier, hopefully, allegedly, maybe, we'll see, for everybody to do the things. Um, on the extract note, let's get in here and we'll expand our extract production because, well, we're going to need it. Don't know how I'm going to get them over there, actually, so, you know what, never mind, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we'll have, have the means to get them a, uh, <laughs> a path over there because... Well, they need access to that and well yeah I food guard that anyway yeah oh, goodness gracious it's fine everything's fine we we have things we have things we can do so let's get over here and let's start pathing this way and we can get some stairs down here and here and give us a path along there and we do have food and water here already set to obtain, so they should be able to do the things. Um, empty that out, and we can put some additional um, storage in here. So we're going to need gears. Okay, um, gears, and we're going to need metal blocks. They're moving that out, and we're going to need um, sparkly planks. So that means another one of these. That boom, bada bing, bada boom. Give this a priority bump so they can knock this out. Give this one as well and have these both set to obtain. And then that should make the production of this bad Johnny right here go that much faster. Now, this needs to be flipped like so. Um, and I believe the entrance is on the second level, so we probably want to drop that one down somehow. We could put it right here. Maybe? What's two down? I don't want to do that. Um, maybe explode that down one level. This is probably ridiculous and unnecessary, but you know what? That's what we live for here. We live for ridiculous and unnecessary. Oh no, that's going to require coming down too. Oops. Okay. 
you know what? It's just cheaper to actually... <laughs> it's cheaper to just put in... Oh, yeah. See, this is why I can't have nice things and why you guys shouldn't let me do things like this. Like, run beavers. <laughs> it's fine. We'll do something like that. We'll throw in a storage container here for some extract. Uh, like, right out there and then we'll give them a couple of these large industrial piles like so and then we'll uh, do a little path structure like this so right there and this will be our staircase to get to our next level and we're just gonna we're gonna keep putting a bunch of storage in right here. so this will be great and then that can go like that and then like double like that and so on and so forth you know that's we're gonna do crazy things and i, I love doing crazy things okay i hope you guys do too I believe that needs to go this high yeah so we need to go that way and i think that's good enough for now once we get these stairs in that should be three high should be good okay probably not gonna be enough but it's a good starting point, so I can't be too upset about that. And we need stairs, or not stairs, uh, a path built in, just like so. And that's how we do it. And then at that end so that everything's connected, we can hit this button, set that to extract, set that to obtain. And we're going to need power over here. And I just blocked where I was thinking about putting the power. Um, so you're deleted, and, uh, shoot. Okay, well, all of this is deleted. <laughs> Oops. This is, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Block that out. Destroy that. Go ahead and come in here. We're going to hit this engine button. Flip that to the point where we can things in that should power it up just fine like so now we could put in our uh, stuff <laughs> probably didn't need to destroy this magnanimous magnificent piece of uh, architecture here that i'd already created but you know it's fine it's fine i need i really need to stop saying that it's not really fine i i foobarred it okay you guys don't need to keep calling me out on it I know that I foobarred it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll beat myself up in the comments. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> I made myself sad. Okay, that can go back up here. Boom, like that. And then we can put the stairs back in. See, nothing, nothing too bad here. It's fine. This is fine. That's almost done. Wow. Just waiting on middle blocks. That didn't went, that went in really fast. I didn't even need to do anything. <laughs> I didn't even need to build these at all. There was no need. They had it built within seconds. Well, 90% of it was built within seconds. So let's hit you. Uh, we can help them out, I guess, by having somebody come in and obtain or bring some of these metal blocks over here. They're probably going to pull it directly from the source as soon as it's created, though. So the hollers and we aren't even going to be able to touch it. But it's okay. Did they get this in? They did. Wow. Okay, so that's good. We're about to have a few more bevers come and help us out here. Um, I think I do need to tear these out, though. So as soon as this one pops, we'll go ahead and throw in another adult breeding pod, advanced breeding pod, so that we don't have any more kits running around. Because, well, they're, they're, they're harshing my vibe, man. They're harshing it. Harshing it something first. I did need more log storage, so while we're standing over here, go ahead and do something like... Uh, like what? I think that's okay. We'll just do one right there. That can go like that, and then we'll path in like so. I hate it, but it'll work. Maybe I'll tear all this out and make this better storage. I think that'd be a good idea. I got this in, so we can go ahead and hit that boom boom button. Give them some steps down 
connect that path up like that and like that. So that's good. How are we looking on extract 309? And then we're looking at 330 explosives. This really isn't moving that fast. Che, I need you to work harder here. Let's check on your social life. How are you... You have no social life, Jay. What is this? Oh! Oh, I completely forgot about this, though. We need coffee. We need coffee fierce. How far... Oh, you reach all of the ways... Oh, you are glorious. Thank you, Undercover Yoshi, for being a glorious, glorious forester. Let's do let's do something a little crazy here. Let's plant some coffee beans. We're going to plant some coffee bushes. Now, that was about right now. So here, and then here, and then here, and then here. And then... If we put in some irrigation barriers, we could do that down there as well. But I don't want to work too, worry too much about that. So there's that right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And this should be enough. Of course, you can't reach back there. Cool. It's fine, Yoshi. I still believe in you. You're doing great things. You're doing fantastical things. Um, let's have them come in here and go ahead and tear this out. For reasons. Okay, come in here, do the thing. That dropped. Fine, that's why we have this in. But we could do that and then fill it right back up. You know, it's great. No, no problems were had here. Um, okay, so that entire area should be good. So this will take a little bit for all of the coffee beans to come in. But while that's working in the background, we can go in and um build our coffee factory here coffee coffee brewery now i think yeah this is one of those weird ones um do i have the means of this in anywhere in particular let's shove it in right here we're doing all right on the plank production mm. or I don't know. I don't know. We've kind of maxed this out in here, honestly. Um. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what? Since we have this up here anyway, why not? Go ahead and destroy that right there. We'll come in here. We'll unlock the coffee brewery. Flip that around. Get that in like so. Drop the 500 science. We've got 2,700. That should go in pretty easily. Minus the fact that we're out of metal blocks. But that's we're working on it. Things are getting work done. Um, sparkly planks are good. We're doing good on resin. We're doing good on regular planks. And gears are doing good too. Um, if we got some more beavers, we could turn some more of these things on. Let's check on our power production. So we're exceeding requirements here. So we could probably pause a few of these so we're not burning. Oh, now it dropped a... Okay, maybe hold, I'll hold off on... Well, that one just got logged. Mm, okay, so I'm going to pause two. And if it... Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Come back over here if that uh, actually kicks off again. We'll fix that. Now, I did remember that I forgot to put in an additional um, calculator back in here. So we don't have any number crunchers running. But that's okay for now. We still have 27,000 science, which will hold us through, no issue, for the foreseeable future until we start getting into our uh, control towers, which burn science per hour. But uh, we're not quite to that level yet, so I'm not too concerned. Hey, look, it's me. I'm too concerned about any of that. So they finished this, so that's cool. Um, water is pouring out. Let's uh, check on this. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not moving. So it's all just going back in here, and it's just being stagnant. Barely moving whatsoever. So maybe we do need to get over here pretty fast. Um, not sure. 
Maybe come over here and start building this up real quick. And then blocking this in. So if we can, or if we allow for appropriate construction. Okay. How is this coming along? They, they got this in. Oh, none of these are set to do anything. Um, your dirt, your dirt. And then your dirt. Wait, let me click it. There we go. Dirt. Cool. That one's waiting on metal blocks. Everything's waiting on metal blocks right now. That is what's holding us up everywhere. Are you? What is holding you guys up? Are you not prioritized by hollers? Lonnie said what? And got S1713. Come on, guys. Why is your productivity so low? Do I need to shove, pull these out and shove the things right up your... Uh, uh right up underneath you here so that you guys could get to work faster is that what we need to do huh is that what we need to do to ensure that you guys could be a little bit more productive or is it because you guys are waiting for all this to get through because this is where all of the metal blocks are <laughs> metal blocks are stuck on this side of the uh the the thing that probably means yeah look at that we have a lot sitting right here and nobody to move it. Let's plus this up a little bit. Maybe that can help out. It's going to take from our haulers, but hopefully they can run things a little bit better. I don't know. I'm, I don't, I, I kind of work here, but I don't work here. I just tell the, the beaverlings what to do with their lives. And then they yell at me and then start worshiping some unknown entity that's known as Lusach Beaver, whatever the heck that is. Um, but yeah, that's that's fine. This is fine. Metal blocks. Everything's waiting on metal blocks. Okay, so let's get this planning over here while we have a few seconds to think. So we can start putting in some storage or at least planning out where we're going to put the storage is over here and right here. That also means we're going to need some paths over here. Over, over, over. Over. English. English? Okay, so that's in. You guys don't need to be working right now because ain't no power. That needs more metal blocks. That's fine. Um, then we'll continue down this way. And we'll continue down like so. And then up on this side. It's like that. This is by no means any way a rational way to get down and or around in this area but hey it works it's gonna get the job done okay that go under i'm not gonna complain about it so let's go ahead and select you for dirt and you for dirt and then you as obtain and then you as obtain. well then we're going to need a way to get up here that and then a way to get down there like that let's let's be rational not not have unnecessary jinx in our um math thing here okay it, not <laughs> as i continue to add additional <laughs> turns and can i my place oh you won't let okay really okay fine i won't let them get eaten by the dirt excavator I don't have a way for them to get up there. <laughs> I blocked off the path. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They're able to get under here? How? How did they do that? How did you guys do that? Wait a second. No, seriously, how did you guys build that one? I have so many questions. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna question it. Okay, beavers did magical things. Um, let's do this over here. Cause why not? Uh, do that like so. We've got to give them make it a little bit easier for them to do the things, and probably a path down. Wow, that this really come on. Give me water in here for longer than a few seconds. That should hold out a little bit better. And we'll drop down a little path, path like this. It's 
probably not going to work for us, honestly, but maybe they can do that from there. They can't really put a path here and connect it without tearing this out, which wouldn't be a bad thing, but hopefully it's close enough within range that they should be able to place all that. I don't know. We'll, we'll check on it in a little bit. We should have the logs and everything required in order to accomplish that. No issue. And we still have eight days left in this bad tide. Oh my goodness. The beaver population is getting a little bit better though. So these little guys are making us some nice beaver beavery action for all of the things. So that's good. That's great. And then I need to give them a way down here. Not not a not a one. We want a two. And then we want a one. And I don't want it right there. Because they can't build from the side of stairs. That's that's a thing. I guess it's dangerous to build from the side of stairs. I don't know. I've never attempted to it to do that. I have attempted to do something from the top of the stair, you know, the steps before. Like when you're on a ladder, you're not supposed to stand on the top rung of the ladder. I guess that's the same same kind of a thing that applies here. I'm not sure. If that's what they're trying to get at, then okay, I will allow it. Um, do we have enough explosives to do what I want to do? And if I... Do they have the way? To, do they have a way to get up there? Maybe. So let's do something like this. Actually, go ahead and flip that like that, and give them at the poo like that. Give this a max priority little bump for everything to get accomplished there. So I can start tearing this out, and then they'll just have to path down in here for a little bit <laughs> while uh, while I have this path torn out and all of that and we'll probably probably maybe well that's getting that's not getting super low that's actually not doing too bad uh, we're not actively pulling from it so it's just air evaporation loss and whatever i'm dumping into this side so that's not not too bad um how's this do we have our no we need two more metal blocks <laughs> hey this is helping nothing you still have 30 scrap metal sitting right here not going anywhere okay can i turn should i turn this into scrap metal would that help prioritize supply will you move it out of this into that really fast is that how that works Maybe? I'm Ron Burgundy? Do I have 178? I, wait. I have 100 and... I have 178 on this side. Where is it all at? And why isn't it being used? You only have one in there. And you only have one. Where's the scrap metal at? Scrap metal. There's none right there. There's 145 right there. Which they have access to. It's a straight shot. And you're... Do I need to turn off your prioritization by haulers? Because the haulers are too busy? Would that help your productivity? Because the logs and... The logs and... And the... The metal blocks or scrap metal is just right there. It shouldn't be that hard for you to go get your stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make you work your little tails off yourself instead of relying on the haulers. Because apparently you can't do anything yourselves. Okay, this is in. Extract still isn't doing that great. We need to set that prioritize obtain and go check on where our extract is being stored. Damn. How long has this been dried out? Almost the entire time. Okay, that that's gonna Well, that sucks. That's already dead. Um great. Yeah, absolutely great. Fine. Um, extract. Okay, so that is good. Well, we have the extract here, so that that's that's what we want to see. 
that's that's fantastic. This in yet? No, you're waiting on metal blocks. Everything's made again, waiting on metal blocks. These guys are lazy. Got us! Blondie! Work harder! Work harder! Okay, I'll stop I'll stop pestering those two. And come over here and then make an irrational decision to turn this on, because I can! Hey look, it's Uncle D Vader and Hobo Space Cat and Siberian Tabby. Look at these guys doing wonderful things. Building needs power. Oh, I need to get that by hollers so that they can air. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. This is fine. Maybe throw in a little pile right here. And we can put some logs in there. And we'll hit that uh, tame button. That little priority bump so they can build that pretty fast. And then look at that. There we go. Well, maybe. Can you guys break some logs? No, because they have no more haulers. Where'd all the haulers go? <laughs> They're all gone. Okay, well, let's pause some of these builders. And then we can get some more haulers going. There. You guys haul. Do the hauling thing, please. There, now it should... There we go. Oh, look at it go. Oh, it's beautiful. Just, just... Can you hear it? Oh. Oh, it's spinning and producing so much delicious dirt. Well, sort of. It's, it's producing some dirt. Okay, it's, it's producing some dirt. <laughs> and we've already got 30 units of dirt in here. Let's go. Um, I forgot to give them a path so that they can do the things. And come over here and do this. Now we can do something ridiculous like uh, start putting this in. So in landscape, in terrain blocks. We're going to flip that around. And just Yeah, we're going to burn the science here, sir. Oh, we're back into the dirt. This is this is where I love to be in this game. It's placing copious and unnecessary amounts of dirt everywhere. Okay. But we're we're going to I really want to go that far. You know, that's that's this is this is a tad bit ridiculous. Okay. So maybe we'll just, you know, block it in here. So we'll we'll do that instead of trying to fill all that in. So, we'll do something like this. See, I could be somewhat rational, allegedly. So, there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautimus, beautimus. Absolutely beautimus. Probably not going to be able to reach any of those. Once that gets... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll let, them, we'll let them work that out. As long as we have a solid front here... To allow for the blockage of the water from spilling out anywhere. So once that, well, that's above. Well, that this uh, this one industrial pile will be underwater, but this everything else and well, I guess the engine will be underwater too. So maybe we'll have to block this side off so it doesn't uh, cause problems in the future. I don't know how full this area is gonna be and kind of get, but uh, we'll see. We'll let we'll let them do that thing. Now, did they get this in? They did. So now I can do more irrational things. More irrational things like tear out this path. Well, I didn't need to tear out that path. So I'm gonna tear this path out. I'm gonna tear this path out and tear that path out because well, why not? And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do this button. We're gonna do that button like this. And they should be able to reach everything. According to my random button clicking, on places where the explosives are, they can do the things. Now, what what else? Oh, I blocked that access. This is fine. And do I want to give them, uh, did I want to blast this any deeper? Yes, I did, right? That's supposed to be six deep. That needs to be, well, 
not actually using this anymore. Yet. Other than the filler here, I, I really should take advantage of this water. We spent so much time building this, almost losing the entire beaver colony because this was what we were focused on. Instead of the easy way of saving water, which was, you know, saving the water in here. Um, but... I feel like this was an entirely wasted effort. You know, all that just for some mangroves. <laughs> I made myself sad. We almost lost the entire population. <laughs> just for some mangroves. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Um, so the bad tide or drought's almost over, so that's good. Um, waiting on some explosives, so that's good. This is good. We have bad water, sort of. Well, these guys don't actually... Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, we wanted to do a district over here. So let's do a district over here real fast. So we'll do that. Um, we'll do that like that. Boom, boom, boom. We'll have that like so. Probably air that out because they don't need to bring that over. Or actually break that down. And then path and here like so got to give them a place to hang out in a pool like that gotta give them a place to pump the pool up with you know we gotta we gotta make sure these guys are happy you gotta make sure the beavers are always happy um i think we only need what so two for here four for the uh the district crossing on this side and then one for pump and water. <laughs> That's, it'll be fine. Yeah. And that will be water. And you'll be water. Oh, we should probably give them coffee too. Yeah, we'll give them coffee too. So the coffee can go up here. So you could be coffee. That's canola oil. I want coffee. Which reminds me, I need coffee storage over here. For Hey, look, there's some barrels that are empty right there. Um, could probably recycle those. Why aren't you guys building these? Can we do that? Why aren't you doing the things? Why aren't you doing the things, guys? Is it because I only have four builders left? Is that why you guys aren't doing the thing? Is I no, I have eight builders. Come on, guys. I feel like I need another couple more of these uh, breeding pods because we're still yeah we need more breeding pods this is we're getting into dangerous territory here don't worry I'm a professional I'm a professional at this okay everything's fine I did forget that I can reach up there you can reach up there look at you Lataxi yeah beautiful beautiful beaver my friend you're doing great things for beaver kind. I appreciate you. Okay. That's the last that we need to do that. And here soon. The drought's gonna end. Make sure everything's set up to allow for the water to flow through. I believe we're... Heck, we're doing pretty good down here. Look at all this water we still have. And we still have 5.4 thousand units out of 9.1 thousand units potential of water. And if we put in even more, we could have all the water for days. Okay. Um, but we wanted to do this. Go la boom. And then go right here. And then go la boom right here. And then we can put maybe a dam, or do we want to? F I think a dam would be a good idea there. Yeah. So I think that's my only path over there right now, actually. Um, we need we need this in. We can gain access to all of that again. Like that. Like this. And yeah, can you guys put this in for me? That'd be great. Like, like super great. 
like the greatest of all things, you know. I have a beaver. Where do I have a beaver doing nothing? Do I have a stuck beaver? I where is it? Why are you over there? Why are you stuck? Oh my goodness. This is why we can't have nice things. Now I know why all the beavers are busy. You're over here placing dirt. Um, oops. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. No need to be yelling at the beavers, me. They're just doing what you told them to do. You know? You're the one who told them to build all this. Now, I didn't tell that goober to go down there and goobery things, but, you know, that's... This is... This is okay. This is okay. I want to bring this out one. And this can... Damn, right there. And that could be... That's how we'll keep all that irrigated. Yeah. I love it. I love it a lot. How are we doing on coffee? Coffee's going. Moya, Sh Moya Shi Chan? Totally butchered that name. My apologies. But we got coffee brewing. So that's good. Probably throw in a large one of these guys right here. Set that to be coffee. And then we could set that to supply. And then we could set this one over here to be coffee and that can be set to a pain and then we could do something even like that potentially over here like so you know so i can grab a cup of coffee before going to bed because that's a brilliant idea right who doesn't like a nice cup of hot coffee steaming coffee before going to bed i tell you if you don't well we need to have a talk really should tear all this down really should tear all this down like all of all of this is just Terrible. Do I have another stranded beaver? Can you guys, like, do this, please? Come save your beaver friend. That'd be great. Look, we've got Roadside Down, who's hungry and thirsty because he went and got stuck. Oh, why did you do that? Oh, guys. Guys, can you, can you not and say you did? Oh my goodness. This is why we can't have nice things. We're gonna pause that one too. Give that a priority bump. You guys don't need to build this right now because, well, you guys already moved him. You moved his butt. Look, he's right there. He's stuck even worse. Yeah, could have saved him. And we have two two additional beavers not doing nothing. So let's see here. Which side of the... It's over here. So I have one beaver over here doing nothing. That one was bummed somewhere. Um, can I... Should I migrate you? Yeah, I'll migrate you. One over. Um... Go one over Shadowville. And I think so I got a couple names on on hand for what to name this uh, district over here. I'm liking a, a couple of them pretty good. I really like one in particular, but I'm going to hold that to myself, you know. Can you guys come save your friend? Look. Oh, no. Wait. Roadside. He just, he just died of old age right there. Oh, sad day. You guys couldn't even rescue your friend. You couldn't even rescue him properly. You guys, you're fired. You're all fired. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. Because you guys let roadside get, get like this. This flowing in here, that is flowing in here, that's flowing in there, so that's good. We're on cycle four, so that's fantastic. Um, are you overflowing? You are over. 
So let's do that and do that and then get everybody nice and stuck on one side. We're going to do a dam right here. We're going to give this max priority so they can fix that and we're going to put this path right back over there so they can gain access to all their foodstuffs and everything. And um, they shouldn't officially be stuck stuck because, well, they've got access to get to back back to a path, so that shouldn't be a problem. Why are you got why are you sleeping out in why are you sleeping out? Oh <laughs> because I blocked access to your house. My bad. <laughs> but that's going that way now. So that's good. Um leave that at 2.5 so that should fill this side up just a little bit faster and then that can go out this way just a little bit and then we'll start filling this side up slowly but surely glorious it's really glorious i'm really liking it i'm loving this plan this uh this is coming together really nicely really brilliantly i'd like to believe that this was a great idea okay just go ahead. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. Keep up with me. That shouldn't be that too much of a problem for them to do all that, right? Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Should have the haulers moving dirt this way. Apparently, they're not. Um, because I don't have any haulers. Uh, more beavers. More beavers. Yep. Okay. Priorities. Priorities everywhere. Priorities, please, guys. Uh, building flooded. Oh! Hi! Yeah! Nobody's sick, right? <laughs> um. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. No, don't go in the bad water. Oh, I boo booed. I did a boo boo. Oh, boo. Boo 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 boo. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna just be peeing all over everything forever now. Oops. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, um... Okay, oh, that's where all of our beavers are at. They're all injured. That's why they're not working. But I need to, got, I need to not get distracted here. Okay, oh... Why is that retracting now? That's weird. Okay, um, how are we doing water-wise? This is filling up. That should be nearing the cap, right? And I probably should give them way back down into this side. So, there we go. Let's give that the priority bump that it requires. And uh, figure out what I'm going to do about this. Okay, it has receded enough that I can get them back into here. So that's probably just the initial shock. Um, and then I'm going to have to get up here and figure that out. Maybe path like that. And then they can do some explosives down here. I don't know. I don't know if that's the answer. Maybe? I don't know. Probably not. That's probably not the answer. Oh my goodness. Of course, all the builders not aren't, aren't doing a thing. And we have another Bever not doing anything. Which district? Hey, look! It, it's over flooding! It's over flooding! 
We're not wasting that much water on this side now. It's all coming in here. And we're going to fill this in. And we're going to have so much water. Oh, that's going to fill in that hole. That's okay. I knew that was going to happen. It was part of the plan. Okay, it was part of the plan. It was, it was all part of the plan. It wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> I can't lie to myself. And I can't lie to you guys. Because that, that just... Um, but this is chewing through our beavers quite literally, and it's hurting them left and right. So maybe, maybe next. No, I don't know if we have. We don't have the capacity for for bots quite yet. Great. What do we need for that? Well, that's uh, we need a bunch of charging stations, which requires a lot of metal, which we don't have, and then bot assemblers, which require a lot of metal. And then bot factories times three, which requires even more metal. And then every single stinking part of, well, two out of the three stinking parts out of the bots require metal. And we're, we're just not up to the production capacity for that yet. Um, okay, 0.7 days until we are officially in our bad tide. That is filling up nicely. In push comes to shove, we can come in here and start pulling from that. We're going to keep an eye on this. Probably pull that up. It's not going to let us save more than the 0.6 on this side. So all the water is actually going to flow out that way. Maybe. There is only one exit port right there. So it might actually flood. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. We've got 0.4 days left. We're about to be able to turn this on over here. So that'll be good. No good selected. Ooh. Okay, so you guys did build that. Okay. Um, cool story, bro. Point two days. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna preemptively do the thing. Preemptively do the thing there. Let that run out for a few more ticks. Like so, and then actually, hold up. Hold that up. Ah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so this all went in. These are turning now, just not very well. Um, yeah, I, I really should get over here and start placing. That's gears, metal blocks, explosives. We have the explosives, we have the gears, we just don't have the metal block. It's 200 metal blocks. Um, okay, this is going to be dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. But we need to get up here and fix this now. Um, and just go ahead and demolish this because that's it's not the answer we need. Um, actually, demolish all this. Demolish, demolish, demolish. Pull this. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Bad, bad water. Settle down, okay? Don't want to have to break into things that I don't have access to quite yet. But I will. I will if you force me to do the things. Really, really should have thought better about this whole plan. Okay, so you guys, you need to do this yesterday, please. That's that's priority number. Look, it's spreading. Make it stop. <laughs> oh, it's a 20-day bad tide. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we did some things today. We got coffee going. So that's good. We got dirt going. We got this going. This went up a lot faster than I thought it would. I need them to build these stairs and then I'll probably find a way to block all this in so these guys don't actually uh, run into any problems. Dirt's in there, dirt's in there. Once they get these stairs built and get this built and filled in, and we'll have all of this going, so that'll be great. Uh, no good selected. Okay, so let's do that. We'll do foodstuffs here. Menta cassava. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, no, don't, don't spread. Don't, don't spread. That's bad. That's bad for the things. Guys, come on. Can you, can you focus? Why are you putting those stairs in? Why would you put the top stairs in before the bottom stairs, guys? Don't do ridiculous things, please. That's my job. I do the ridiculous things. One building flooded. Yeah, that's that's known. Yeah, look at that. It's so green down here. It is the greenest of the green things. That's going well. This is... Oh, look at the power being generated there. <laughs> it's so much power. <laughs> And it's not going anywhere for us any anytime soon because I need to build something to transfer it here and probably over here at some point. But that's for future me to figure out. And I have three beavers doing nothing and they're not on this side. Oh, they're finally on this side. So that's cool. That's full. Um, That's full, that's full. Let's uh, unpause that. There we go. Now we have some more beavers coming in. Probably going to spike because I have so many of these in here. Again, that's for future me to deal with. <laughs> um, hopefully they're getting this put in pretty fast. And I hope they don't. They, just, they almost got themselves stuck. They almost got themselves stuck again. How ridiculous these guys are. You know? guys are absolutely insane okay they have logs there why aren't they oh that doesn't they have logs they're right there oh they're gonna get sick okay we need to fix that um where can i put a place for them to get sick and yeah we have unwell beavers um see here do I, I have the metal blocks to make an engine? Where can I put sick beavers? Now I've got seven. Four here doing nothing. Okay. Well, let's put them to work. Um, where do I want to put sick beavers? Thick beavers can go over here. We'll do that. So this will be priority. We'll get this put up really fast. And then that's in district management. We need district crossing right here. We need this right here, like so. And actually, let's destroy that first real quick. Put a power thing in here. So engine can go right there. We can do a tiny bunch of tiny storages right here to no, not right there. There um bunch of tiny storages for different food stuffs. Go ahead and set these to all of the fun things that they like to eat, like eggplants and kohlrabi and soybeans and we'll just we'll put all the things in, I guess. Um, corn. So that should be everything selected. That's no problem here. We'll go ahead and path up here. Path that way. Give them a place to sleep at night. We'll need a place for somebody who's going to be working. The district to go. So this all needs to be prioritized. Because, well, we have sick people. At least one. And of course, I need to actually put in the thing that helps them not get sick. So that's in well being here. That's decontamination pod. Yes, unlock. We'll go ahead and do a couple of those and we'll throw in a small tank for extract. Go right there. And that should be a part of that. We should have all of the metal blocks we need to use those. Make sure that that's all done and counted for and then we can throw in our district right here that 
Once all this gets built up, we can send our sick beavers over here. And we're going to bring them back, okay? There's just one or two that are sick. That's... It's sad that they're sick, but it's... It's okay that we're going to get them fixed up, you know? We're gonna bring them back. We're gonna make them better. Okay? There's no need to worry about it. My fault for doing silly things like blasting this whole entire thing out, causing a problem in the chain reaction of all the events that led to all this. But it's fine. It's fine. But that's for me to figure out next time, guys. I'm going to have to hit pause it here. We're going to hit the pause button, you know, so things don't get too far ahead of us while we uh, run into the next episode later. You know, we gotta we gotta leave on a cliffhanger. As as our last beaver, our first beaver to get sick, is he going to be all right? Is he is he going to be all right? Who knows? But we're gonna try our best to bring him back to health, full health. He's gonna be the greatest and happiest beaver of all times. Anyway, uh, we did a lot of things. It doesn't look like we did a lot, but we did a lot. Like we have massive, or the water's even more massive of a storage of massiveness. Okay, look, we have more storage over here for days. Um, so we're going to be able to store up even more water. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bypass all this and send the water this way like that. We're going to have even more water to fill in this entire area back here. And then we could start doing all of the things that we said at the beginning of the episode. But that's, uh, that's for next, not next time. That, that's going to take a little bit because that requires a lot of power to run all of those mechanical fluid pumps. And, uh, we don't, we don't want to run them on engine power. I want to run them on bad water power, which requires a lot of dirt, a lot of logs, a lot of planks, and a lot of time to do the things. Okay, but that's uh, that'll be a, like one of our mega projects. The mega project and all the mega projects is the, like the superpower name of bad power goodness. But anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic time. I hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Here in Shadowville, where things are glorious, where things are great, where our beavers are happy, they're healthy, except for one. We're not going to talk about that one guy. Who is our one unhealthy guy? Good girl ghost. I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. We're going to help you out here, okay? We'll, we'll help you out. We'll get you nice and healthy. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. I've been rambling for the past hour and seven minutes, according to my recording clock. So I'm going to have a good time. I hope you guys have a good time. And I'm going to get out of here. Now, remember, uh, stay hydrated. Keep your beaver hydrated. And always remember to stay thirsty. And I've completely ruined my outro, but it's okay. Because I can do what I want. I'm out, guys. See ya!